Saint of the Day September 10 Saint Nicholas of Tolentino Confessor, Patron of Holy Souls, Mystic Born, 1246 AD Italy Died, September 10, 1305 Venerated in, Roman Catholic Church Canonized, June 5, 1446 Pope Eugene IV Feast, September 10 Saint Nicholas of Tolentino, known as the patron of holy souls, was an Italian saint and mystic. Born in 1245 in Sant'Angelo, Saint Nicholas of Tolentino took his name from Saint Nicholas of Myra, at whose shrine his parents prayed to have a child. Nicholas became a monk at 18, and seven years later, he has ordained a priest. He gained a reputation as a preacher and a confessor. C. 1274, he was sent to Tolentino, near his birthplace. The town suffered from civil strife between the Guelphs, who supported the Pope, and Ghibellines, who supported the Holy Roman Emperor, in their struggle for control of Italy. Nicholas was primarily a pastor to his flock. He ministered to the poor and the criminal. He is said to have cured the sick with bread over which he had prayed to Mary, the Mother of God. He gained a reputation as a wonder worker. Nicholas died in 1305 after a long illness. People began immediately to petition for his canonization. Eugene IV canonized him in 1446, and his relics were rediscovered in 1926 at Tolentino. A studious, kind, and gentle youth, at the age of 16 Nicholas became an Augustinian friar and was a student of the Blessed Angelus de Scarpetti. A monk at the monasteries at Riconati and Maserata as well as others, he was ordained in 1270 at the age of 25, and soon became known for his preaching and teachings. Nicholas, who had had visions of angels reciting to Tolentino, in 1274 took this as a sign to move to that city, where he lived the rest of his life. Nicholas worked to counteract the decline of morality and religion which came with the development of city life in the late 13th century. On account of his kind and gentle manner, his superiors entrusted him with the daily feeding of the poor at the monastery gates, but at times he was so free with the friary's provisions that the procurator begged the superior to check his generosity. Once, when week after a long fast, he received a vision of the Blessed Virgin Mary and Saint Augustine who told him to eat some bread marked with a cross and dipped in water. Upon doing so he was immediately stronger. He started distributing these rolls to the ailing, while praying to Mary, often curing the sufferers, this is the origin of the Augustinian custom of blessing and distributing Saint Nicholas bread. In Tolentino, Nicholas worked as a peacemaker in a city torn by strife between the Guelphs and Ghibellines who, in the conflict for control of Italy, supported the Pope and the Holy Roman Emperor respectively. He ministered to his flock, helped the poor and visited prisoners. When working wonders or healing people, he always asked those he helped to say nothing of this, explaining that he was just God's instrument. During his life, Nicholas is said to have received visions, including images of purgatory, which friends ascribed to his lengthy fasts. Prayer for the souls in purgatory was the outstanding characteristic of his spirituality. Because of this Nicholas was proclaimed patron of the souls in purgatory, in 1884 by Leo XIII. Born in answer to prayer, Nicholas of Tolentino became an Augustinian friar, gaining a reputation for working miracles and making peace. Tolentino had a name as a troubled town, but Nicholas brought it peace. Patrick Duffy tells his story. His name a token of gratitude from his mother. Nicholas was born in the town of Fermo in the March region of eastern Italy on the Adriatic. His parents were childless for six years. They prayed at the shrine of Saint Nicholas of Bari and in thanksgiving christened their son Nicholas. Saint Nicholas bred for the sick and poor. Nicholas joined the Augustinian friars at 18. He often fasted and performed other penances, spending long hours in prayer. Once, when severely ill, he had a vision of Mary, Augustine and Monica telling him to eat a certain type of bread roll that had been dipped in water and he recovered. He then began himself to bless and distribute this bread to the sick and poor, 
who were also healed. He became so enthusiastic about this that the prior accused him of squandering the community's resources. He also had a reputation as a healer, even before he was ordained in 1269. The rolls became known as St. Nicholas's Bread, and are still distributed in his memory. Peace to Tolentino After his ordination, Nicholas was stationed at a friary where he felt comfortable, but one day he heard a voice telling him, to Tolentino, to Tolentino. Tolentino was a town that was troubled by rival pro and anti-papal factions. Here he preached in the street and despite opposition and ridicule, he was able to restore peace to the town. He continued his lengthy fasts and received visions. He became known as a sympathetic confessor and for visiting the sick and poor. Souls in Purgatory Once, while asleep, a fellow friar who had died shortly before spoke to him from Purgatory and urged him to celebrate the Eucharist for him and other souls there, so that they would be set free by the power of Christ. Nicholas did so for seven days. The friar again spoke to Nicholas, thanking him and assuring him that a large number of souls were now with God. Because of this Nicholas was proclaimed patron of the souls in Purgatory. Death and Influence Nicholas died on September 10, 1305. Pope Eugene IV canonized him in 1446, and his relics were rediscovered at Tolentino in 1926. In the Augustinian Church of St. John the Baptist and St. Augustine, John's Lane, in Thomas Street, Dublin, behind the high altar there is a stained glass window depicting St. Nicholas of Tolentino in red vestments celebrating Mass for the souls in Purgatory also depicted with one soul being escorted into heaven.